you're going to get the air command menu which is a radial menu and then we're going to go ahead and specifically explore the last option which is the pen window but first let's go ahead and um, put the pen away and take a look at some of the new features that samsung had bundled for multi-window view so as you can see here at the top, I have multi-window enabled already on the phone. So what you would have is this tray here where you would find a number of applications that you can run side by side. Unfortunately, not all third-party applications are compatible with multi-window and only the ones that are certified um, third-party apps such as Kayak, Facebook, um, and Evernote are compatible. Most of the apps are the default apps that work with multi-window. But new for this year on the Galaxy Note 3 is the ability to run the same application side by side. So before you couldn't run um, the browser both on the top and the bottom uh, window, but now you can. So here I have two browser windows open, which gives you flexibility if you're researching a topic and you want to um, open it the first browser for a certain link and the second browser for something else. It's great for comparison shopping um, also on the internet. Um, in addition to that, you can launch two different applications like you could with the old version of multi-window view. So let's go ahead and launch um, both browsers um, side by side. And you can see here's the portrait and then here's the landscape orientation. And like the old version of multi-window, you can go ahead and resize your browsers or resize your windows rather. So um, it takes less or more space depending on the importance or what you're focusing on. So this way it's not too distracting if you don't want it to be. Another nice feature is that now um, with the multi-window, let's go ahead and open another application. I'm gonna open the gallery application on the top. And then most of the pictures here are taken with the Galaxy Note 3's uh, 13 megapixel camera on the rear. We're gonna go ahead and cover the camera feature in a separate video, so be sure to check that out as well. But what if you needed to email a certain photo and you um, want it and you're in the email application? So all you would have to do here is, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new email. And then you can go ahead and populate the two, the CC and BCC, as well as the subject field on your own. But what I'm gonna do right now is move the cursor here to the body of my email. And then if I wanted to, let's say I wanted, I, I really like this image and I wanted to send this to my friend. What you can do is here is, um, there's a now a button here, a circular button that um, pops up with additional commands once you um, activate it. And we're gonna go ahead and do that and hit the third button, which allows you to drag and drop um, copies of text or images from one window to another. So here I've attached um, the image just by dragging and dropping it into the email field. And now let's say I really like this image. I can go ahead and do the same thing, um, but first I'd have to do this. Here we go. And then drag and drop. So now I have two images attached just by dragging and dropping them into the email field. Other functions of the multi windows, now you can even multitask within one of the windows itself. So we've opened up a couple of different applications in the bottom window. So I'm gonna go ahead and see which applications we've opened. So we have the email application, the browser, a scrapbook application, S note and contacts. So now I can go ahead and juggle between all the various applications I had opened previously in the bottom window. And once I tap back on the top window, um, and I can do the same thing with the top window here. I've only launched the gallery and the internet app so far on the top window, so you can only see two. Let's go ahead and click back on the bottom window, and then we're gonna go ahead and you can swap the windows around so you can see you know, the bottom window on top and the top and the bottom if you want. And then you can also um, close the window if you want. So this, now I'm gonna close the email application. So you can go ahead and close the applications as you would. Um, and, and then you can still multitask as well. And then you can hit the X and close that um, on the window itself once you're in the multitasking view of the multi-window app itself. 
So those are some of the new features that multi-window brings to the table on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the S Pen now on the bottom of the device. And once I pull that out, as we've mentioned, you're gonna get this uh, radio menu called Air Command, and it will give you a pen window option. So what pen window does is once you activate it, if you hover your um, stylus or the S Pen on top of the screen, you're gonna get this pencil icon with a blue um, strike on the bottom. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a rectangular window and it will allow you to run an app freely on top of whatever screen you're on. So this way I have the browser app, it's like a floating window in and of itself and I can go ahead and resize the app. I can minimize the app if it's taking up so much room. If I wanna focus on what's going on in the background here, I can go ahead and minimize it and then call it up again um, once I need it. And once you minimize it, you're gonna see this, um, this icon here that you can reposition. You can make it full size and then the X would obviously close out the application in and of itself. So let's go ahead and turn on the maximum multitasking power by opening um, the multi-window. So let's go ahead and do the gallery and let's go ahead and launch the browser. And then I'm gonna go ahead, once the pen is out, all I would need to do is click in on this S Pen button here on the side after hovering it. So we're gonna hover the pen and then I'm gonna click in without touching the pen to the screen and then I'm gonna activate Air Command and then launch another pen window. So let's say we're calculating our rate plan and we need um, a calculator. So I can go ahead and open a calculator app and now need some entertainment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a YouTube app And then now I'm bored again and I want to chat with a friend. So I'm going to launch the chat on application. And maybe we want to do a hangout. So here I have four uh, windows here that are part of the pen window application running on top of my, um, of my Galaxy Note 3 on the device's full HD um, 5.7 inch display. Um, and then I have two separate multi windows running. So now I can go ahead and minimize what I don't need. And these windows will just float on top so I can pull them up whenever I need to and I can still interact with the content on the multi window. And now if I wanted to just say pull up the YouTube app I can quickly do that and I can minimize it if I don't need it right now or I can go ahead and close it if I just won't need it again for for a while. But you can open a lot of different pen windows using the S Pen and it will give you uh, functionality that extends your multitasking ability on the Galaxy Note 3. And you can even launch another browser. So these are just some of the new multitasking features and support on the Note 3. I'm Chung Nguyen for Gotta Be Mobile. Join us on gottabemobile.com and be sure to watch our other YouTube video reviews of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Until next time, thanks for watching.